The harvest season is upon us, but I'm guessing there's not a lot of us that know much about black walnut harvesting. News Channel 15's Kai Torpasoa, well, he didn't either. So he heading to Huntington to learn all about it. Got nuts? That's not only the name of Scott Lewis's walnut harvesting service in Huntington, but it's a legitimate question because the more walnuts he collects in holes, the better his profits. Every October, you can find Fort Wayne police officer Scott Lewis searching for one thing, black walnuts. He scavenges the 80-mile radius around Huntington for tens of thousands of these hard green holes, which have the nuts inside. That's a lot of collecting, so he brought his whole family aboard to help. We're spending quality time together outside. We're not in our cell phones. We're not watching TV. We're out enjoying nature and picking up what God gave us to, to pick up. In their best year, they harvested more than 90,000 pounds of walnuts, enough to fill two semi-trucks. Lewis's son Chandler says even with their mechanical huller cutting down significant time on the process, they still easily work 50 hours a week. It's work. I mean, you'll break a sweat at it on a hot day like this when it's not quite getting into fall weather yet. But the payoff is good. There's easy money to be made in walnut picking. If you collect 100 pounds of walnuts with this nut wizard, you'll make 15 bucks. Lewis's mom, Sue, says it's also fun to watch the holes from northeast Indiana evolve into finished products at the Hammonds Black Walnut Plant in Stockton, Missouri. You see them in the green and the black and the moldy and all kinds of stages, but then you see them hauled and then they look like the walnut and then they uh, send them down to Stockton. They get a certain humidity on the nuts and that's how the nut pulls away from the shell. While some may call them nuts, the Lewises call it family fun and they're looking forward to another great harvest. The black walnut harvest will run until the first week of November. Kaitor Pessoa, News Channel 15.